Course, who is flying Russian fighter jets in Libya? Sikhoi 24, MiG 29, who are the pilots of these fighter jets? Russian, Libyan, Syrian, uh, some mercenary pilots? Who is flying these fighter jets? Uh, firstly, because Russia denies having any ground troops in Libya. Russia denies having any fighter jets in Libya. But Africa, United States military command in Africa, it twice issued statements uh, regarding the presence of Russian fighter jets in Libya. Uh, in the first statement, AFRICOM said that Russian fighter jets were flown from Russia through Syria to Libya. In Syria, their markings were camouflaged and after that, after camouflaging of their markings, they were flown from Syria to Libya uh, to back General Hafter's LNA. Then the second statement viewers, AFRICOM issued some satellite images as well. And AFRICOM said that uh, there were Russian fighter jets seen flying over Sarat and there was the presence of Russian fighter jets at Al Jufra Air Base as well. Russians denied. In fact, L and a spokesperson Al Mizmari he spoke, he said that these were uh, Libyan fighter jets refurbished. But AFRICOM is sticking to its claim that there are Russian fighter jets in Libya uh, and Russia is denying that. Now, if there are Russian fighter jets in Libya, who is flying them? Or if war breaks out between uh, uh, Turkey and Russia or, or Turkey and LNA and the Sirat offensive, it is launched by Turkey and these uh, fighter jets have to be used who will fly them? Now, there are three possibilities. I'll discuss all three of them one by one. First possibility that these fighter jets, Russian fighter jets, they're being flown by Russian official state pilots. Uh, this is a very remote possibility, viewers, because if um, war breaks out and, and if these uh, Russian fighter jets carry out air strikes and if one of these fighter jets is shot down, and the pilot is killed or captured and his identity is confirmed being a Russian state pilot, official pilot. So it will be very embarrassing for Russia and they will not be in a position to de deny that uh, it is their pilot. So that is why it's uh, a very remote possibility that Russia is using its official pilots to fly these fighter jets. Now, second possibility that these fighter jets are being flown by Libyan pilots. Because Libya did not have any uh, MiG-29, Sikhoi-24 fighter jets during the era of Muammar Gaddafi. So definitely no trained, experienced uh, pilots uh, of Libya who can fly these uh, Russian fighter jets. Uh, but the second thing is that uh, Russia might have trained Libyan pilots to fly these fighter jets. But it takes some time, viewers, to train a pilot to fly MiG-29, Sikhoi-24. Definitely it takes uh, some time. So it is also not uh, possible that Russia has handed over its uh, costly piece of equipment, uh, costly MiG-29, Sikhoi-24, to inexperienced Libyan pilots. That does not seem to be possible, I think. Now, third possibility, which is very close to what might be happening, I think, is that uh, PMC Wagner, uh, private military company Wagner, Russian group, just like it has hired fighters for fighting on ground, it might have hired uh, some ex-pilots as well. Some ex-pilots of Russian military or some other country's military who have this experience of flying MiG-29 and Sukhoi-24, they might have been hired to fly these uh, fighter jets. That seems to be what is happening in Libya, viewers, I think. Another thing I want to point out, viewers, is that just like there is a difference uh, between mercenary fighters and regular troops of an army, uh, regular troops are disciplined, organized, they have this sense of being accountable. But mercenaries are not 
uh, as organized as uh, regular troops are not as disciplined as well not as not having as much sense of being accountable as well same is the case with uh, mercenary pilots as well viewers so in case of war if these fighter jets are flown by mercenary pilots we could see some uh, blunder we could see some untoward incident viewers